Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today is Thursday, February 28th, 2019. And today, we're just gonna be talking a little bit about happiness and uh, freedom and uh, happiness. We're gonna talk a little bit about happiness today. Happiness, happiness. Sorry, my English also goes sometimes. So, um, I just came from the store, as you guys can see. Um, store is right behind me. I was gonna record on the way over here like I usually do, but I had a little technical difficulties and so now I'm gonna record on the way back. So I'm gonna strap you to my head and uh, we're gonna walk and talk. I got a lot of heavy shit I gotta carry, so. All right, without further ado. Look at the horsey. Look, that's what Lambo does on his days. Uh, you know, when he's not working with me behind the camera, or in front of the camera that's what he does all right that's really what he does that's him right there fyi all right so today we're just going to be talking about just happiness what makes you happy what makes anyone happy what is happiness well i'll tell you what happiness is for me happiness for me is being able to wake up in the morning and do whatever the fuck I want. Now, everyone has a little bit of a different definition as to what happiness means to them. But to me, my happiness is making other people happy. And uh, maybe it's because I'm a Virgo. Maybe it's because, I don't know, the way I was raised, I don't know. But the point is that after 37 years on this fucking earth, I have realized that what really makes me happy is making other people laugh, educating them, having seeing them grow, seeing them learn, um, just go through that process, being able to be part of that process, and, and so on and so forth. Um, and everyone, again, has a very completely different definition of what happiness means to them. And so a lot of, a lot of times when I'm just doing uh, the show that I'm doing, when I'm recording, when I'm doing the things that I do, and I show you my happiness, the reality is, is that deep down inside, I'm hoping that my happiness is enough to encourage you guys out there that want to pursue your own happiness to pursue it. And that's it, it's as simple as that. I mean, I'm really not trying to, to tell anyone out there how to live their lives or or do anything with their lives. You know, you guys, for all I know, most of you guys watching me right now are extremely happy. Most of you guys might be happier than me. I don't fucking know. Who am I to judge? Who am I to tell? But the point is that I know that when I watch other YouTubers or when I watch other artists or when I watch other creators or when I just, just watch, when I see other people, it, it encourages me more to do whatever it is I'm doing sometimes I wake up and I don't feel like recording a video or getting to work or going to the store to get something to eat to cook but you got to do it and uh, we all have a lot of these things within our lives that sometimes we don't want to do but we got to do and when you get to like a different kind of mindset a mindset where it's not I have to do this but more like if I do this I'll get XYZ reward whatever that reward is to you and you start changing your goals changing the way you think about things and just changing your perspective it can go a very 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 long way a very long way to your own happiness now part of part of this main happiness is being honest with yourself it's just being 1,000% honest with yourself. Sure, I, I encourage you guys and I'm always telling you guys to be honest. To be honest um, with uh, all kinds of things. Not just with yourselves, but be honest with the way you live your life. Be honest with how you treat people. Just honesty, all right? Honesty is, is the best policy. Honesty is the best way to fucking go about life. But it's not just about preaching honesty and being honest to a fault. It's also being honest with yourself. In fact, it starts with being honest with yourself. And uh, being fully aware of that. 
so, you know, one must ask themselves the question, what makes me happy? What will bring joy and happiness to my life? So for example, to me, being able to walk through this paradise, being able to walk down this avenue just to go get my groceries as opposed to getting in a car and going to like a big grocery store or getting in an Uber and going to a big grocery store and having all those comforts. You know, to me, having a little bit of a discomfort of going to, of walking all the way to the store, being able to only carry so much with me, going to a store, whether it's the Walmart or something in the center, which is very limited, things that really were things are very limited the reason I, I do those for for me per se the reason I do those things for my you know the, in, in that way is and, a, and what I do is like I, I avoid comfort why because when I do that it helps me appreciate more what I already have and then when I do get these awesome comforts I can appreciate them even more and um, you know, every, a lot of people out there might have difficulty being able to have that self-control. Um, and I, I mean, I myself have difficulty having self-control a lot of times. And, um, and so I can understand that 1000%. But when you have that self-control, when you're able to, to, to have that, that, that um, dominion of oneself, wow, that's when the magic really starts happening. That's when the magic really, really, really starts happening because you're able to control not only yourself, your wants, your desires, all these things, but you know, being able to deploy them when necessary. And I hope this stuff is making sense to you. It's like, uh, like I like to say, it's like having like a black belt type of thing. And not just having a, you know, it's not just having a black belt, but having the knowledge that you can go out there and kick anyone's ass but then having the restraint of not doing that. And uh, a lot of the, almost everything I do out of, for my own personal life is that I'm constantly, you know, sharpening my knife, you know, honing those skills, you know, those skills of fucking, uh, of using my words, to, you know, um, my, making my words deadly, you know, um, you know, playing like the alligator. Or, or, you know what I mean? Just like, you know, just passively laying in the water until somebody fucks with me and then flop, snap, and that kind of shit. And to me, those are like the little things that I get joy out of. Because I like to, I like to kind of almost like give the impression to people that I'm, I'm a big dumb animal. I don't fucking know anything. I'm a, I'm a, re I'm stupid. I'm whatever. And then when people, I gauge people's uh, reactions to that, you know? A lot of times, you know, by me, you know, just not pretending, but just leaving certain pieces of information out, it lets, it, you know, it, it makes people think, like, right off the bat, oh, this guy doesn't know so much. And then, like, when the person starts interacting with that, that is when I really get to know a, a real person. Because if all of a sudden, I act like a like a like an asshole. Like I mean, not an asshole. I act like a retard, and people take advantage of that. Well, I know full well that if they do that to me, they're going to be doing that to a bunch of other people as well. So um, it goes with the same token. Where if again I act like like a dumb guy, and I and I and I meet somebody and they're doing the complete opposite in the sense of like they're they're trying to to help me out. They know that I'm. I could get taken advantage of so they they actually go out of their way so they make sure that i don't get taken advantage of and just things like that then all of a sudden i elevate that individual to a higher status you know and um they don't know what i know but i know what they know and that kind of stuff and so it's just being able to have that that dominion with oneself that knowledge you know, just constantly knowing that this, this whole world, this whole universe, everything you see around me, you know, everything from that wooden panel to that building, to these people in front of me, to those cars, to those trees, to the air that I'm breathing. I created all this. We've, we create all this. We are all um, in control, 1,000 gazillion percent full control of everything. 
And I know it sounds crazy, you know, like how, how the fuck am I in control of the sun and the heat and the trees and the guy in front of me and those cars and the building and how, 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 how is that even like, uh, does, how does that even translate into a fucking reality? How can I say, how can I sit here and say, or stand here or walk here and say that everything around me is created by me? When, you know, with the same token, somebody can tell me that, no, all this stuff has been created and you just happen to be an entity within this. And I, I like to say, no, well, maybe none of this exists if I don't exist. Because if my brain, my head isn't working, it's not active, then there's nothing else. So it, it, again, it's all about perception. It's all about how you deal with these things. It's all about um, creating your own universe in every shape or in every way that you think it can be created, it can be created. So if you're constantly in the negative mood, if you're constantly like, woe is me, the victim, sadness, pure putrid horribleness, then guess what? Your whole universe, hold on, hold on here. You know, your whole universe is gonna be exactly the same thing. But if you are constantly thanking the heavens, wake up in the morning and you're grateful that you woke up you know you do like joey diaz and you grab life by the balls and tell and and tell and tell the fucking universe to suck your balls or else when you when you kind of like live that life when you live the life of like the fact that i didn't know how i was gonna get to this point in my life i just knew years before i even got to this point that i was gonna be at this point and just having that vision and eventually it, you just get there. You just put your head down and get to work. I have other visions of where I see myself years from now, in the future from today. And I don't know how exactly I'm gonna get there, but I know exactly what I need to do in order to get there. And everyone within your own life, you know exactly the, the same thing follows for you. You know what you need to do you know what you want you know how to get there the thing is it just all comes down to honesty it really just comes down to to just 100 honesty and what i just said at the beginning of the episode are you being honest with yourself and if you're being honest with yourself then nothing can stop you but if you feel like everything is stopping you it's because you are not being honest with yourself and that's as simple as that, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it sounds, we humans like to overcomplicate things. Um, I don't know why, but we just do. It's part of human nature. And uh, the minute you start minimizing things like, well, the minute you start really breaking everything down and just answering these simple questions as to, as to what it is that I want what it is that makes me happy, what it is that I want to accomplish, what it is, when you start just not only asking these questions, but then answering them honestly, guys, I'm telling you, you know, you, you'll, 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 you'll be so amazed. It, 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 it'll, it, it'll, it'll, it'll drive you, it'll drive you to keep trying to pursue that. It, it's like, a, like chasing that dragon. You're always chasing the dragon, you know? Um, and that's that's kind of like where, where that's at with that honestly The reason most people don't understand what this manifestation stuff is the reason a lot of people just don't understand Hola, bueno dia. The reason a lot of people just don't understand you know manifestation creating your own universe um, you know all of these things the reason most people don't understand that is because they they just don't see it as a, as as uh as a reality that any of these things could be a freaking reality and um of course it can be a reality um you see people talk about these things all the time you see people talk about this stuff all the time and um let 
Uh, I think this guy's car is messed up. Or maybe they're learning how to drive. <laughs> oh, by the way, every car out here is stick shift. There's very few automatic cars. That's something I learned. But, um, but yeah, you can manifest anything. And then w once you learn the secret of really like, you know, closing your eyes and always thinking positive no matter what, and always just thinking of exactly what you want and creating it and just living that weird, uh, it, it's hard to really, it's kind of hard to explain unless you are just doing it. But once, uh, once you discover that secret, the secret, you know, that little bit of a secret, then that's it, man. Everything else, everything else is, is fucking caca. Everything else is easy peasy. And this is really the reality of it. But it's just being able to understand that you have this power to not just create, but to destroy. And um, it's being able to, again, know that you have this power, like the black belt, that you have this insane power, but being able to use it, you know, using it the right way. You know, instead of uh, self-destructing yourself, use it to help build yourself up. And not just yourself, but others. So, all right, guys. I think that's it for today. <laughs> so, thank you so much for joining me today on my little walk. A little bit of a uh, little chill time. You know, just walking back home from the store. It's been wonderful. It's been great, as always. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Please, please let's keep this conversation going. Hit the likes, hit the subscribe button. Hit, hit all those fucking buttons, all right? And then some, all right? And then hit the buttons down there. Hit the buttons everywhere. You know, enjoy it. And uh, thanks again, and I'll see you guys manana. Enjoy life. Live life, all right? And don't let anyone out there tell you that you can't. Just do it.